Jay, good, good to see everyone here and um, be here this morning on the third panel. I don't know yet, I think that was somebody. I'm not talking to myself at all. I want to thank the um, school for uh, organizing this event and the work that they've done. And, and, uh, so thank you all very much. I know you recognize it. I'd like to thank you all myself. Great work. Thank you. I have to stay involved with you. <clears throat> uh, 
in terms of introduction, um, James, the former president of the Nation, from participating, I've been participating, I've been with it's never the it's never the um, leading up to the McGirt uh, leading up to the McGirt decision right. under my administration, and, and uh, so uh, I'd say please that you still a time for various things. I think probably the thing that takes most of my time right now. I'm a board member of the National Parks Conservation Association. Things. I think probably the thing that and, takes um, most of my time right now. Stay involved with um, um, board member for the National Parks National Conservation Park Association. Primarily, I'll stay involved and in focus on the southeast issues regarding national homelands. And so, uh, been involved with Bill Bogey Mounds expansion and focus on the southeast the studies that are going on down there. And hopefully, so, uh, the eventual the Bill version of it is a national park and expanded for the studies that are going on down to 50 miles. The great project version of it is a national park and expanded. I'm also serving um, as, as an advisor to Miles, Miles. So it's a great project, project and, a great and uh, so that, that keeps me up to date um, on also serving the issues in the Indian country and several, several matters and several tribes. Um, it's kind of how I spend my time on the other day on Tulsa and the Indian country and Stoey Creek Reservation. And so it's kind of how I spend my time on the wise of living means of Tulsa and the Stoey Creek Reservation. So our opening statement at this time is by means of introduction of that's who I am. Do you want our opening statement at this time or? Come later. I'm Chief Richard Phillips, Flight Horse Police. I've been in law enforcement for about 23 years. I'm Chief uh, Richard Phillips, Flight Horse I've Police. Been I've been in light law horse. enforcement for about 23 years. Uh, 2021. Uh, I came I've been in the, the end of uh, December 20. Uh, when I was a I captain of the tribe, but I was in the end of my career with Light Horse as a reserve. I was a so I stayed captain reserve here the tribe, but I worked at other agencies my career. as a full-time officer with Light Horse as and a reserve. I trade a bit of well. I stayed in reserve here, but uh, I worked for other agencies. I guess the a creator seemed fit to take me down this path. I trade a bit of well. And I'm thankful, but, uh, for, work, thankful for work for our tribe. The creator seemed fit to take me down this path. And I'm thankful for it. Thanks for the work for our tribe and our reservation. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jeff Fife, Chief of Staff for Principal Chief Hill. Uh, it's glad, I'm glad that our leadership and our student body has taken this moment to capture important matters that affect our community. Uh, short background, I'm an alumnus of this college. I have a bachelor's degree from Oklahoma State, a master's degree from Southeastern Oklahoma State. My career uh, began in law enforcement, similar to Chief Phillips. I didn't have a clue that's what I would enjoy, but I did. I enjoyed it thoroughly. It placed me amongst our people on a daily basis. And that sense of community, communal uh, caring, taking care of our people. That's a strong bond that uh, I developed, not just professionally, but personally. Grew up in uh, Okpusky County, north of Dustin. That was previously known as Pokogi. We were the last, uh, last ones to arrive. Today, national attention is brought to our panel, and this is an esteemed panel. Former Chief Floyd, Chief Phillips, Ms. Nagel, uh, to have this body before you shows the growth of our tribal college. It shows that our Professors are encouraging, thinking beyond the moment. Hopefully as we uh, move forward, we'll be able to hit on a few things that uh, show where we will go as people. With that, I wouldn't take any more time of this panel and ask this thing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Osio naga gohin down don jaleka yeshi gela um gali eliga jike donha um hi my name is Rebecca Nagel um I'm really happy to be here I'm a citizen of Cherokee Nation and I live in Tahlequah Oklahoma so I'm just really honored that among all of these esteemed leaders of um, Muskogee Nation that you guys would invite me to also participate in this panel. Um, I'm a journalist and I've um, been covering the Murphy and McGirt cases for a few years now um, for a podcast called This Land and also for um, some different news media like Indian Country Today and The Atlantic. And um, I just really want to thank Take. PTK and the students for putting this panel together. I think it's a really important conversation. I think, um, you know, if you watch Channel 6, <laughs> there's um, a lot of misinformation in Oklahoma about what the impact of the decision has been. And I think it's really important um, for our communities that are most directly impacted by it to know what happened and what it was. But I think it's also important for the broader public to have that understanding. So I'm just really humbled and really um, glad to be here.